Hello everyone, this is Last Garden Standing. And what I'd like to do today is an update on some videos that I've already done as well as some plants. First I'd like to tell you about the poinsettia. It is doing really well. I cut it right after the holidays in January. Cut it down and it is doing great. It's got all this new foliage right there and here's a smaller one too and it's doing good as well. Both of them are doing great. Um, I fertilized only once so far and uh, I've watered it plenty. You want to water it good right now and you want it to drain out. Don't let it sit in water. Um, I also did a video, if you want to refer back, I suggest that you do, on complete poinsettia care. January through December because I plan on bringing these plants back in full color again in next December and it's the same one that I started with. So if you want to know how to do that step by step please refer back to that video. It's gotten plenty of light as you can see so uh, between the light and the watering it's been doing really well and I've only fertilized once. So as I mentioned, I'll fertilize again probably in March since I've only fertilized once. But then in April, if the foliage has grown more than six inches, which it looks like two inches now and it should be two to four inches. If it's gone more than six inches, then I'm going to cut it back down. And then in May, we're going to start something completely different. And I am going to do an update in May to follow up this video. So stay tuned. I'd also like to show you some of my succulents that I did. Also my video succulent display is what these succulents right here are from. This is a beautiful aloe from that display. I had some on Christmas and I transplanted them individually. This one's doing great too. I didn't really mention the names of them so if you'd like to look them up let's get a good shot of them. They're doing great. They're even getting new foliage on all of them, even this. The only one that didn't do good is this one and it did lose all of its leaves but as you can see it's still producing new shoots. So I'm just leaving it and let's see if we can get a good plant out of it. This is the display that I did, brand new shoots. This is a few things I can tell you is this is the candy cane one, this is a dollar one, this is hens and chick everything is grown really really good in fact it only started out with little tiny containers so they've gone twice the size it really likes the clay pots it looks like with the rocks around it I also want to do an update on the video that I did as far as the aloe vera plant the video is called the aloe vera plant and it's done really well. I just bought little tiny ones. Look how much they've grown. They've each got a good shoot coming out. So they're doing really well. They like these clay pots, by the way. It helps not overwater the aloe vera because you can't overwater it or it's just not going to make it. So I don't water it very much. I just water it once a month and I don't saturate it necessarily. I just water a normal watering. But it's doing really good on that. As you can see, all of my plants are. I am going to come back to you eventually and do a, another video on my indoor greenhouse that I just put out. It's been one week and I've already got little shoots coming up, so it's working really well. Um, while everything is dead out in the winter and everything's gone dormant in the house, you can have beautiful plants, color, and life. So I love the succulents, I love the poinsettias, and there's other flowers as well at, at your choice. So this is Last Garden Standing. Please share, like, and subscribe and give me comments. If you want me to do something in particular, please let me know. I thank you for watching and thank you for all my subscribers.